look, I'm, I'm a constitutional monarchist because uh, uh, emotionally uh, and because I believe it is the best system uh, for Australia. I think that the institution of the monarchy has served Australia well uh, and that's why I believe the great majority of people in Australia uh, support it as a very important pivotal ingredient uh, in our constitutional makeup. And in fact, as time goes by, I think that the support for the monarchy uh, here in Australia is actually growing, and I think the surveys and opinion polls show that. You must be delighted with that. Yes, I think it, I think it uh, had f fallen to 35%, and it's still heading south. Uh, and I think support for the monarchy was at 58% and, and still heading north. Uh, and it showed that uh, young people, I believe, are now in a majority uh, in supporting uh, constitutional monarchy in Australia. So I'm very, very delighted with that. And what have you thought about the events of the Diamond Jubilee? Uh, well, uh, th these events were watched globally by over a billion people. Uh, and I think that says something about the, the interest uh, in, the, in the monarchy uh, and in the Diamond uh, Jubilee. Uh, and that's 60 years of, of selfless service, 60 years of never putting a foot wrong, 60 years of never saying a word out of place, uh, 60 years of dedicated service. That is, that is something that really we can celebrate about because it's part of our heritage, it's part of our constitutional system, uh, and I think that it, uh, it, it proves that, uh, that the people of Australia, when they voted against a republic, made a very, very wise decision. Petition for the ABCTSC? Well, well, was I surprised? Look, to be quite honest with you, no, I wasn't. Because I, uh, anything that the ABC, nothing surprises me. Uh, with the ABC, um, you know, this is this is some. I mean, we've we've needed reform of the ABC for a long time. This is on taxpayers' money. They're they're meant to represent uh, and reflect uh, Australian opinion, and I don't think they do that. It's very one-sided, and uh, I think uh, Professor Yu and and others in ACM did a great job in putting pressure on the ABC. Uh, to give the people of Australia what they wanted, and that was a full coverage of those events. I think they were more interested in the Diamond Jubilee than in the uh, the film Shampoo. Mm. What do you think of that argument? Well, I think it's a very cute argument. Um, what I've noticed with the Republicans is they've always got some excuse as to why they haven't got their republic. They wanted they wanted a referendum. They got a referendum. They chose the question that was put at the referendum, and then when they, when they failed so miserably, they complained that it was the wrong question um, put to the people. They're the ones who chose the question. Uh, so they're always looking for an excuse. Uh, they'll say, oh, well, you know, uh, support for the monarchy is, is temporarily up because there's been a royal wedding, or it's, a, uh, it's up because there's been a visit uh, to Australia by one of the royal family. They're always, there's always some intervening event uh, that they use to explain why the support for the monarchy is up higher than in their minds it really should be. And of course they're now saying, well, it's because of the Diamond uh, Jubilee that that's given a, a support to the monarchy, you know, a, a real high. But once once the, the, the Queen goes and passes from the, the, the scene, uh, then things will get back to normal. In fact, when the, we see the passing of the, of the Queen, and we hope that's not for many, many years to come, in fact, I think that support will be even higher because people will be reflecting on those maybe 70 years at that time, uh, or 65, whatever it's going to be. They'll be reflecting on those decades of service uh, to, uh, to the, the Australian people. And I think that actually we will see an increase in the, in the support. It's increasing because we see around the world other events. We see what's taking place in Syria and so many other countries and people are saying, well, thank God we have the system that we do. And the, the, this constitutional system where we have the Queen there as a pivotal part of that constitutional framework is something that brings the whole thing together. Well, look, I think I was just one of many people uh, inside the, the government, uh, then opposition. Uh, I was one of those, together with my wife, uh, who, who among the many thousands 
who marched from Government House to Parliament uh, when, the, uh, when a previous Labor government turfed the Governor out and, and uh, hid the Governor away in, in, in some office in the CBD. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud, uh, very proud indeed to be part of a government that has delivered on this promise. We now have the Governor back on the grounds of Government House, uh, I believe in a, in a chalet there, uh, but to s soon move back into Government House when uh, the appropriate um, facilities have been made available. So I'm, I'm, I'm very proud that we have delivered on that promise given to the, to the people of New South Wales. And we made clear before the election that we were going to do that, uh, in contrast to a previous Labor government which said nothing about throwing the governor out of Government House uh, prior to the election that they won at the time. Uh, and we've delivered on some other things too. I mean, we have restored uh, a, 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 the oath of allegiance so that uh, the incoming members of parliament, the new, newly elected members of parliament, uh, have a choice uh, of the oath that they do swear. And uh, we don't force it on anybody, but those who want to take it, they have the option of doing that. And that was something that the Greens were very, very upset about because they didn't want incoming members of parliament to have a choice in the oath that they took. Well, look, uh, I, I certainly will be, and I'm sure the great majority uh, of people uh, in New South Wales and Australia will feel the same way. Uh, the popularity of the royal family continues to, to, to rise and to rise, uh, and as time goes by, we see uh, that the, 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 the family, the royal family as a whole, have, have given a lifetime of service uh, to the people of Australia and I think that, I think that they'll be very, very well received.